Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terror. Hope everybody's well. Guess what? <laughs> We're in the new space. <laughs> and I'm super excited for that. So, this is going to be the weekly reading from January 15th to the 22nd, 2022. If it resonates with you, cool. If not, check your moon, rising, or Venus placement. I'm doing this by the elements. So, elements and signs and time stamps will all be in the description box below. Makes life a little bit easier for you to navigate the video so you can get the message that you desire. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Place yourself where you see fit. Cross watches are always welcome. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you want to come hang out more often. If you're returning, welcome back. Comments have been opened back up. As long as people aren't being jerks, I'll leave them open. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. Huh. And once again, if it's not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. The full reversed earth signs. We'll leave that right there. I feel like there's a lack of trust in an issue. All right. Boop. Anything else? Four of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Pentacles came out. Let him go in, uh, huh. Letting go of something. Picking it up now. Three swords reversed, three pentacles reversed. You're drained. You're faced with a decision. Or you're going to come to the conclusion that something is draining. And you have to decide whether or not you're going to put energy into it and conclusively end up not putting any more energy into it. Strength reversed. Two of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Why is it all happening? Oh, whoa. King of Wands, King of Cups, Emperor. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, my earth sign friends. Alchemist reversed bottom of the deck. Some of you may be being manipulated. Might be some black magic involved. I don't like throwing that card out, but... I'm just going to say manipulation, puppet strings, puppet strings. Five of swords reversed, seven of cups reversed. All right, give me clarity. Give me clarity from Earth Sign Friends, please, universe. Hi. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like some of you would just rather stay single. You good. Three of swords reversed, three of pentacles reversed. 
coming out of a state of heartbreak, not allowing something to come together, coming to terms with something not coming together. Give me one on those, please. Give me one on my pair. Okay, I'll take two. High Priestess Upright, Nine of Wands reversed. Following your intuition. Throwing in the towel on a situation. Coming out of a state of heartbreak. You're... Why strength reversed? I already know, but we're throwing a clarifier on it anyway. I'm getting drained just sitting here and throwing down cards. And there's something about this that, um, yeah. A pair of kings and an emperor. Ten of Cups. Completion. Chariot reversed. Did you guys hear that? I wonder if my mic picked that up. I don't know if that was like a growling sound coming out of something or if that was a car driving by. Chair reversed. Ten cups. Strength reversed. Star reversed. You're drained. Chariot stopping. It's not coming together. It's not coming together how you wanted it to come together. Something's coming to a completion here. It's draining. Why the Two of Pentacles? Happiness shouldn't be draining, guys. Happiness should not be draining. Page of Pentacles. Nine of Swords reversed. Okay, this is an ending. Why the Page of Pentacles? Queen of Swords. I feel like this is a, I don't know where this is going. We need to decide where this is going. We need to have the conversation. It's like, do we have the conversation? Do we not have the conversation? I feel like you're having the conversation and it's going to put something very painful to an end. This almost feels like an energy of avoidance. I feel like this is where the manipulation comes in. Why the Eight of Pentacles reversed? Three swords. Oof. Break time. It's break time. Three of Swords, Wheel of Fortune reversed, Four of Swords, Eight of Pentacles reversed. Pause, not a stop? I don't know. It's going to hurt. Nonetheless, it's going to hurt.
I feel like this might be a pause or a pullback until somebody gets their crap together, decides what they want. Somebody's not trusting something here. Somebody's being manipulated. All right, talk to me about these kings and this emperor. Why the king of wands? Why the king of wands for why? Why the king of wands for why it happened? Magician reversed. Oh! My gosh. Them some puppet strings, yo. Them some puppet strings. I just realized I didn't tip the camera down. Hold on one second. Wow, them some puppet strings. it reversed. Why? Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Leads us into this. Not much for conversation. Conversation's been in and out. Somebody's been isolating. Somebody's been being manipulative. Pro could have, could well have been a sex-based connection or confrontational when there was conversation. Why the King of Cups? 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 Six of Cups. Somebody you've known for a while. Somebody's held a cup for you for a while. Probably didn't say anything. Poker faced. Whoa. Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Eight of Swords, Two of Pentacles reversed. <coughs> two Sixes balance. Couldn't decide. Anxious, anxiety, possibly a lot going on. You've gone back a while. Anxious about if they can give. If they can give the same you can. Can't decide. Can't decide. Somebody was indecisive. Somebody's been quiet. Why the emperor? Why the emperor? Why the emperor? I'm just trying to keep you at a crossroads. King of Swords. Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Patience. Somebody withheld. Try to control it. King of Swords is a very non-emotional person. He's very my way or the highway and he will tell you why. Somebody tried to keep somebody at the crossroads. Somebody withheld a pentacle or threatened to withhold a pentacle. Threatened to withhold love. Threatened to withhold a cup. This is very threatening energy. Somebody was very manipulative. And somebody was very anxious. Because somebody was very quiet. I don't know who was doing what. But I feel like it's very close to everything coming to a head. Why the Five of Swords reversed? World 
reversed. This ain't over. This ain't over. Oh, this is far from over. You guys gotta get over the hump. I feel like there's horrible communication going on here. Seven cups reversed, seven cups reversed. You gotta get through the confusion. You gotta sort things out. Things need to be sorted out here. Is it possible to be unintentionally manipulative and not realize you're doing it? Is that like a sub-psychological thing? I think it might be. Two of Cups, yeah. There's a possibility for a new start here, but Four of Cups. Somebody has to stop looking at three spilled cups. Give me a moon. Give me a moon. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Well, okay. Peace, number 23. Full moon in Capricorn. How hard are you willing to work for what you want? This card is reminding you that effort is required. Work issues may be about to come to a head when this card comes up. If you're wondering if you should stay in your job or leave, this card can be a strong sign to make an exit. The end of a rough time is forecast. This card also asks you to consider how ambitious you are and whether you're prepared to pull out all the t stops to make your professional dreams come true without being ruthless. With a love question, this card can be a call to face reality. Whatever situation you're asking about, making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more. Okay, number 23, peace. Two plus three is five. Five is the number of transition. Number 23. Freedom of attachment, radical acceptance. Doesn't get any better than this. A quiet mind, a heart fulfilled, freedom from want, and a soul satisfaction. The way to peace is through radical acceptance. Everything in your world is exactly as it should be. Harmony is beautiful. Enjoy it. Okay, I'm gonna pause, clear the decks, and move on to air. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two of Cups, that's beautiful. All right. Nine of Wands tried to fly out. Hmm. Six of Swords reversed in the Empress. The Empress is your challenge. Could have something to do with baby mama, baby daddy. Might have something to do with pregnancy. I don't always throw that out, but if it's yours, take it, but don't panic card has multiple meanings. Could just be the growth of the situation. Bottom of the deck, six of wands reversed. Let's 
somewhere something is not being noticed. Whole lot of wands down there. Queen of Pentacles, indeed. Indeed. This could definitely have something to do with a baby mama or a baby daddy. Possibly a return of one. There's a new connection here. Mm. All right. Give me one on the Six of Swords reversed in the Empress. Hanged man, somebody hung up. Somebody hung up. Eight of Swords reversed, please. Somebody is not accepting of someone else being in a new relationship. Two of Cups. Page of Wands. It was reversed down here. Sword Six of Pentacles. I don't know if it's the baby mama, baby daddy of your child or the other person's child. Hard to say at this point with that laying there. I feel like someone's coming out of a state of anxiety in regards to whether there's going to be enough time or energy. Eight of Wands, forward movement. Four swords reverse. Somebody's very restless about this. I, I'm detecting a, a hint of possible jealousy. Somebody nosing around here. Somebody's worried about not getting victory, not being noticed. Why judgment reversed? Five of Cups reversed, Death reversed, Judgment reversed. <sighs> Walled up, not accepting change, not allowing something to end, not processing the emotions that go along with it. Trying to bury it. Ten of Cups, Four of Wands. Something's come to a completion. But there's reason to celebrate. There's a beautiful new connection here with lots of possibilities. But something here doesn't want to be buried. Something here doesn't want to accept that it's over. They're walling off against it. They're they're fighting. They're fighting for it. Why the five of cups? The chariot. Queen of Swords reversed.
Ace of Wands reversed. Okay, here it is. Somebody's about to get told. <laughs> I don't know what side of the situation anybody's on, but somebody is about to get told. Time's up. You had your shot. It did not work. We need to maintain a distance. We need to maintain a healthy, safe distance. You need to process the emotions that you need to process. It's over. I'm hearing it's over. It's over. It's over. It didn't spark. You had your chance. You blew it. You had your chance. You blew it. Somebody's pissed off that they're not getting noticed. Page of Wands reversed, Three of Wands reversed, Ace of Wands reversed, and this is why. Six of Cups, Three of Wands. You waited for forward movement. Somebody hung on because it's somebody they've been with for a long time. They just weren't happy, but they hung on. So they finally walked away from that dock. This sun reverse could have been the breakdown of a family situation as well. Three of Pentacles. I gotta walk away from the dock on this. Can we just be friends? Can we cooperate? Maybe for the sake of kids, possibly. But page page of pentacles reversed as if anything else, she ain't got what I want. But it's pretty straight up. I'll cooperate with you, but don't be throwing any offers at me. Ace of Wands reversed, it didn't spark. It just didn't spark. That's way too many. It just didn't spark. Judgment reversed. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Somebody fought it. Somebody didn't want it to be over. Unfinished business. Knight of Wands, ride in, ride out, whenever they want. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Not really much to offer. Not coming in with something solid. Possibly not wanting a Knight of Pentacles to come into your life. Hmm. That is interesting. I need to look at this for a second. Talk to me about this outcome. Ah! Chariot. Keeping and maintaining the distance. Without having yourself pulled in two different directions. Maintaining the cooperation. Why the chariot and the three of pentacles? <clears throat> Ace of pentacles. King of Cups reversed. Four of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. Page of Cups reversed. Yeah. <clears throat> you want to go off and start something new. Start a new cycle towards your own happiness. And somebody's just going to keep fighting you on that. Somebody is letting go, but begrudgedly. Probably overly, overly emotional and jaded about it. Because you don't want their cup. You don't want their cup. You don't want their pen. You don't want their cup. You don't want their stick. You don't want nothing. You don't want their pentacle. You don't want nothing. Give me a moonology on this, please. Take time to breathe out. Wow. 
Whoa! Apparently the universe decided you guys get a bonus. Truth be told, happy, happy. One plus 14, one plus four is five, 26. Two plus six is eight. Change, transition, forward movement. All right. Take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. The intensity of the full moon has abated. And what are you left with? That's what this card is asking you. It suggests that the situation you're asking about has now peaked. And it's time for you to regroup and learn from your experiences rather than blindly forging ahead. Have faith that what is happening is for the best. Try to accept the way things are now and give yourself and others time out to relax. Breathe. What? We can't be on all the time. If you feel you've hit an obstacle or even failed in some way, now is the time to reflect on how to do things differently next time. Be honest with yourself. If you feel bad about your current situation, then remind yourself that life goes in cycles. Alright, number 14, truth be told. Honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication. There is the, there is the truth, which is the essence of a thing, and there is, the, there is a truth, subjective according to the philosophy of the adherent or believer. This is not a time for debate about which truth is truer. This is a time when you are called to proclaim your truth out loud and be willing to be transparent, honest, and open in your communication with others and with yourself. Nothing less than surrender is what is, to what is, peeling off the layers of denial that kept you tied to an illusion will set you free. Be authentic and gloriously flawed and spirit will answer you with miracles. Wow. Happy, happy, number 26. Wow. Joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well. Your desires are effortlessly, effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment, whatever is happening, and be satisfied with things as they are. You're free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment. For you have chosen happiness over yearning for it. Now is the time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. None of this is because of something outside yourself. Your happiness is a result of your being at one with Spirit's plan for your life. All is well. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playfully splashing in it. Wow. Okay. Wow. Those sunk right in, didn't they? Wow. It's amazing how that works sometimes. Still amazes me. Okay. We're going to pause and move on to water. All right, water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, January 2022, 15th through the 22nd. Oof. Why'd you guys fly out? Somebody anxious? I feel like somebody's losing sleep because they don't know what the other person's doing.
let's let that just just off the cuff I might be wrong but just off the cuff if that's your story Mm -hmm. Somebody's at a crossroads, and the challenge is lack of happiness, lack of self worth. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I don't have the sage bolt in here yet. We're going to run. We're going to run with it. I can fight it off. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'll get that right there. Oh, hi. No, you're going to come right here. Trying to roll away on me. I'm just gonna tuck it into me here. King of Swords reversed. I feel an emotional outburst coming. Hmm. Emotional decisions versus logical ones. a heavy hitter. Wow, this is a heavy hitter. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Set that there. Sort it out. Two of Wands, Nine of Cups reversed. Eight of Cups. That's a crossroads. One more. Two of swords reversed. You cannot. You do not have enough information to make a clear headed decision. Some emotional baggage. That's some emotional baggage. Talk to me about this Queen of Wands. Tread carefully, tread carefully, you don't have all the information. You don't have all the information. Five of Cups. Four of Swords. Queen of Swords, 
Yes. Yes. Rest. Speak truth. Honest conversation. Process the emotions. Yes. This Queen of Wands can be a little bit hot headed, honey. A little hot headed. She knows what she wants. She goes after it and she knows she can get it. I feel like somebody's not putting in the effort. I don't know if it's you or them. Somebody's ignoring, somebody's contemplating, somebody's got emotional baggage here. Somebody moved on from something else and carried some emotional baggage. One on this Queen of Pentacles. One on this Queen of Pentacles. bottom of the deck. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. All right, talk to me about why. Four of Pentacles. I'm going to run and get the Sage Bowl after this before I do fire because usually water doesn't like bog me down like this, but whoo, emotional turbulence. Mm. Four of Pentacles. miserliness someone didn't want to let go somebody else is fiercely independent can do it on their own and know they can one more king of pentacles hmm Look at him gaze at that big old shiny pentacle. This is a little bit of control freak energy. Why the three of swords reversed? of cups hit the floor might be important page of cups reversed feels the connection can't quite say it moon 
choppy waters. Never said it left somebody in the dark. By the Six of Swords. Two of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Wands reversed. Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Patience, patience, patience. One more. Five of Swords, there it is. All or nothing. Someone moved on. Left some baggage. Some unanswered questions. Somebody carried it. match set here. Not so match set here. Be careful with your words. Be careful with your words. This doesn't have to end badly. Why the Six of Cups? Why the Six of Cups? King of Swords and the Fool. Maintaining the bond, maintaining the connection, trusting the process one more, not being so emotional, being honest, being logical. There is no reason to be jaded. Check your egos at the door. And leave your wounded egos in the past. Why judgment? Trust the process. Whatever it happens, don't carry it with you. Star reversed. You have to allow yourself to heal. And eventually you'll move forward. This is about facing the truth and not fighting it. Don't be so anxious, but choose your words wisely, water. Choose your words wisely. Love yourself. Be honest with yourself. Moonology. Show the world the real you. Wisdom Oracle. Observe. 
server. Full moon in Aquarius. This card brings the message from the cosmos that you need to detach a little from whatever situation you're asking about. Someone might be keeping you at arm's length now, but it's no bad thing. It's important for you to allow life to unfold and progress and progress. Even if change seems like a frightening prospect, if you're holding yourself back from showing the real you, this card reminds you that your unique characteristics are what make you special. In a relationship, you are being too aloof. Are you being too aloof or detached? Go ahead and be yourself and whatever is coming is for you. Hmm. Hmm. Observer, number 49. Perspective, objectivity, neutral observation from a distance. Most people see the world through a personal lens. They closely identify with their feelings and experiences so much so that they come to believe that these are the only reality. There are times when you need to distance in order to gain perspective and understand your circumstances from a more neutral vantage point. Now is one of those times in your life. This is a perfect moment for you to begin to do some exploring. Instead of only considering yourself, consider what you need to understand about the conditions, people, culture, and environment you're engaged with now. You'll be so happy you did. Illumination is the miracle you seek and will indeed find. All right, we're going to pause and go to fire right after I grab the sage bowl. All right, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, January 15th to the 22nd. Eight of Swords, Reverse, Ace of Swords. Apparently, some communication got you out of your head about something. All right. Maybe dealing with an air sign. Swords reversed, Eight of Cups reversed. Postponing a painful ending due to an inability to walk away. Oh boy. Toxic attachments, letting go, honesty. Okay. Dealing with the bad blood, focusing on the ultimate goal, justice reversed at the bottom of the deck. Legalities, legalities, legalities. Things are out of balance, possibly due to legalities. <coughs> oh my goodness. Hmm. Right, give me a little clarity on this.
Okay. Not putting in the work. Stopping of energy and effort. Okay. Sadness. Processing the emotions. Okay. Now you know, and this is what you do. Talk to me about this Ten of Swords reversed, Eight of Cups reversed. Something's not equal, something's not even, something is confusing. Possibly mixed messages, mixed signals. Okay, why the Five of Swords reversed for what's coming up? Why the Five of Swords reversed for what's coming up? Six of Wands. Four of Swords reversed, Nine of Wands reversed, Walls are, com walls are coming down, somebody's being re restless, somebody wants attention, somebody's feeling defeated, will be feeling defeated. Why the King of Wands? Why the King of Wands? Temperance reversed. Mm, that's confrontation. Negative energy. Truths being revealed. Things coming out. Oh, wow. Okay. The moon has gone down. The sun will be coming up. Might find out why things ain't flowing, and then I got a four of wands. That's celebration. That's a door opening. Why the ten of wands? Hang man. The, re the release of a burden, the acceptance of a situation. Three of Cups reversed, Nine of Swords reversed. No more pressure. Could be an end to a third party situation. I don't have any other threes though. Could be an end of a connection and no longer a need to be anxious about it. Why the Four of Wands? Wheel of Fortune, old cycle ending, new cycle beginning. Why the Three of Cups reversed? Queen of Wands reversed. Somebody may admit to a little bit of jealousy. Or realize that there's no longer a need to be jealous. The third party's over. The release of the burden. The release of the anxiety. All right. Why the devil? Talk to me about this devil for why it all happened. Why the devil? Why the devil? Why the devil? Somebody felt ignored. Somebody wasn't getting the attention they wanted. Okay. Could have been a Capricorn. Possibly could have been a little bit of a toxic obsession. Mm -hmm. Some manipulation going on, maybe. Games, games, games. Do one more on that. Three of Swords. Hmm. So they got their heart broke. Why the Four of Pentacles? Hermit. Somebody let go. Four of Pentacles reversed. Four of Pentacles reversed. Hermit. Somebody let go and went inside and did some deep soul searching. 
chariot reverse stopped a chariot dead in its tracks. Why the Seven of Swords reversed? Empress reversed. Sun reversed. World reversed. High Priestess reversed. Eight of Wands. Oh, some crap came out in the wash, didn't it? Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. That's a card of self-love. That feels like I want the truth and I want it now. Dang. Like this chariot ain't moving until I get the truth. All right, why the Six of Cups reversed? Seven of Wands reversed. Queen of Pentacles. Even though it didn't work out and you're defeated, you have self-worth and there's a goal. You gotta keep your eye on the prize because you are worthy. And there is a cup out there. But don't make blind decisions. Five of Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. It is what it is. It is what it is. The truth will set you free, won't it? Alright, give me a Moonology and give me a Wisdom Oracle and we're going to call it a day. Call it a week. Moonology. Believe in the impossible. And a wisdom. Blue moon. Ha. Ah. New life. All right. Believe in the impossible. Blue moon. As the saying goes, some things happen only once in a blue moon. In other words, hardly ever. Drawing this card suggests that you're about to get a rare chance and that something one off could be well could well be about to happen. This card is a very positive sign that you've felt like you're hoping for too much and asking for too much of the universe. Whatever you're asking about, well, might only happen once in a blue moon, but it can happen. However, this card is a rare opportunity before you. However, with this card, rare opportunity before you. Oh, wow. However, with this rare opportunity before you, I keep reading the line above it. It's important that you believe in it. If you conceive, convince yourself. Oh, I'm getting tired. If you convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never go in your favor, then guess what? It won't go in your favor. Be grateful for this card, which is a reminder to believe in your dreams. 
Okay. I can't make words work, guys. Number 39. Probably time for me to hang it up for the day. 39. Birth of new ideas. Growth opportunities. A breath of fresh air. A renewing... Life renewing itself. When spring awakens the world, joy and excitement can be felt all around and in your very core. Blossoms burst from trees overnight. Birds return home and sing their glorious song. And nature is full of promise. Miracles beckon all of us. This is one of those times in your life when new ideas inspire you and new opportunities bring you hope for seeing your dreams come true. All is well in your world, and you have the energy you need to feel renewed. Allow your heart to fill with enthusiasm. Let your light shine, for this is a time of good fortune. Okay, friends. Have a good week. Thanks for coming by. I will catch you guys in about a week for your next weekly reading. Peace, love, and light.